Hi YouTube, uh, sorry I have not been filming for a while, if you didn't know I do have another channel called JA380KE, that's JA380KE, um, I do a lot of reptile and invertebrate stuff on that channel, uh, I really can't be bothered to edit this video, it's too much, because I've been very busy and if you can't tell by my voice I do have hay fever, uh, but I will get back on track hopefully. So I'm going to be showing you all of my sticky sets today. This is the cave with most of my sticky sets in. Uh, this has eight sticky sets in. Um, it is a Repti Breeze, 40 by 40 by 76, I believe. So I'm going to open it now and show you. Yes, I can. There we go. So this includes sunny sticking sets and clay sticking sets and um so these are my two nails um of the semi sticking set um they're a lot skinnier than the females i only have two and i have four females it is better to have more females than males as the males don't have to fight over them so I'm going to my four females right now. One of them, as you can see at the bottom, is fully grown. The best has got one more mod. I don't have the most experience with this species. Um, I've only kept them a couple of times. But these are some chicken sets. Um, so yeah, I'm expecting some babies out of this female some eggs which will be fun because by the end by mid next year I might actually have about a thousand eggs which will be interesting um so yeah that's that species um I don't know where the pink one is there she is so she's getting a bit clumsy now she's getting quite old she's giving me some eggs yeah, that's her. I only have one the goal of that species, which is a pink one sticker set. You get the hand piece. If you go in the cage, you can get good. Cage. T A T E. Cage. So, this is the McClay Adult Female sticker set. This is one of the biggest sticker sets. Uh, they're found in Australia. This is an adult female. As I said, I got her in. I got I got her in December. Um so she's about nine months old. Um because she had about two months before that. She can live a little bit longer than that. They can live actually what's happened to her hair? They can live reported to be over a year. So yeah, that is that time. There's eight sticking sets in there, which includes the sun sticking sets. The clay sticking sets and pink ring sticking sets. So, now I've got that done, I'm going to show you what's on top of the cage. So, I have five pink wing nymphs. Um, so, obviously, they are all in cricket tops. Um, just to stop um, stress for them. I do like to keep them in separate pots. Um, the best way to keep these is a slightly lower humidity as a nymph uh, because they have been known to drown in water droplets and they don't need as much humidity but still a bit and as they get older you give them more. Um, so these are them. It's good to put some tissue on the bottom and instead of having a water cup for your bramble put them in some more tissue so they don't drown. So this is what a nymph looks like these hatched yesterday so there's one there one of these is called june and you know what the rest are called because i'm not even sure if i'm going to be keeping these i just named the rest july that doesn't really apply because i've got four sticking sets with the same name that's fun right so I put these five back and I now I'm going to show you the eggs. 
So these have been on a heat mat, so you don't have to incubate them. These are my McClay eggs. This has come from the female that I showed you earlier. So there's about 80, I think there's 82 eggs in there. Um, these are my pink wing eggs, the rest of them. don't think there's any nymphs in here. No, there's no nymphs in there at the moment. But some of these, four of these hatched yesterday, as you saw. One of them had already hatched before this in last month, so about a month old now. Um, but yeah, they're the eggs, so that is this. Oops. Got all my bugs here for some reason, I need to tidy. Um, so that is that corner. Yeah, if you don't know, I have a lot of animals. So that's that corner done. Up here, so obviously that's Buddy. And in here are my some of my Black Beauty sticking sets. There are three in here, two males and one female. Um, these don't tend to fight over a female. And they actually surprisingly don't seem that bothered in mating. Uh, one of them has been mating quite a bit, but the other just does not care. Um, so, down here, this is the female, bigger than the others. Um, these guys do see a cricket in the UK, that's pretty much the only thing they feed on here, whilst the rest can eat bramble and everything. These are my two males. If you don't know, they do have red wings. They're really pretty. There you go. I thought I lost them. <laughs> so, they're pretty endangered in the wild as well. Not in captivity. They have a 12 egg space in Peru. Um, and they're very rare there. So they're trying to raise numbers. And I'm going to try and donate my nymphs to a charity that is increasing the amount. Which would be nice. And I should get about... 200 ones so in this next cage are really really common type of sticking set really good for beginners uh, some of these are mature for laying eggs and some aren't um, so these are Indian sticking sets if you haven't guessed already they're feeding on rose leaves and bramble in their cage at the moment I have four oops four um, of these. This one is the biggest. Oh no it isn't. This one is on my thumb. Stop dropping. So there's those. This one's like a brown colour which is pretty cool. Um, they are actually quite cheap as well. They're one of the easiest animals you could ever care for if you wanted to get like a starter thing for your children or something for school anything that you're thinking of, even just for home. But they're amazing, they're very interesting. They're really good eaters. They live just over a year, pretty much all sticking sets have the same lifespan. So in the last cage is two more black beauty sticking sets. One female is um fertilized with eggs. So I'm only gonna keep her out for a little bit. It is best to just leave them to it when they have the eggs. But I'll just get her out quickly. This is her, as you can see, she's pretty big at the moment and she has a pretty big abdomen at the moment, which I think has got bigger over the past few days. And here's a dad, which is nice because he has his wings out. So this is a dad. So those, oh, I've managed to back in for the, This is the dad for those um, eggs that will be coming probably in the next month or two. So, yes, that is all of my sticking sets. If you didn't know, this is a full view of my room at the moment. Are we releasing more and more pets that I have? as I get more subscribers, so the full room tour. This is some of my second sets. Leopard Gecko, Morning Gecko, Leopard Gecko, Stick and Sets, African Land Snail Babies, Frog, which will be a millipede cage soon. 
that doesn't actually have anything in at the moment, but it was a frog cage. So, that is my room. I'll be releasing more animals that I have um, and exotic pets as I get more subscribers. So, do subscribe if you want to see. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Turn on notifications below then you can see every single video I upload. Put in the comments what video you want me to do next or anything you want. I sound like some sort of flight attendant doing a safety video there. Right, there are six places on this end. Stop. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.